They look happy enough. That's them sorted for the evening then. I still need to put these bags away. And I think George said some guys come in today pick up the the beef stock as well, so he's a bit late. Alright, we got this hooked up. We may as well jump in. There we go. Let's get these bags off. And start faffing, eh? <laughs> I don't think that'll ever get old. Right, yeah, quick job. Just take these bags off, put them in there while we're waiting. The guy that George knows, I don't know who it is. It's from some other farm. But uh, George did mention that he was on his way. So it shouldn't take us long now. He'll be here soon. Let's widen that out. There we go. That's easier. I wonder if we can get both of them. Fingers crossed we can. Yes, we can, just about. That's spot on. We'll come back for the other one. Get this parked up. it has been a long day. Not much going on out in the fields, but... Just looking after the cows. Did clean out as well the, uh, the barn where the cows were. So that's all sorted, ready for whatever we do next with it. Let's get these out. We we'll won't keep them outside, do we? Put them away. The last thing we want is these seeds to get damaged. Now we've spent money on them. Which shouldn't happen, but you never know. Could get some heavy rain. This is October after all. Look at this. What are we, 6pm? Sun's out still. It's crazy. Sun's out, and it's been a great good day as well. Not bad for Halloween. George has got more of his decorations out and about as well, so... That's a bit crazy. He does like his pumpkins. He's even got a skeleton there. I imagine he'll be opening the door some trick-or-treaters later on. Which is something that surprises me about George. Because if he told me that before I saw his decorations, I would have thought, no chance. George, having people knock on his house, think so. Right, well at least that's done then. We may as well park this up for the night. It's not like we're going to need it again. There we go. Still over the moon with that load all. What an upgrade. Right, let's shut this now. There we go. Right, that's that done. What's next then? Still got to wait for these cows to get taken away. And I'll check in with George, see what he's on about. 
see what he needs doing for the rest of the day. I don't think there's that much going on. Like I said, George hasn't even been out much today. I haven't seen him that much. Hmm. Be good to see these go to a better place anyway. If they can get out and about in the pasture like this, and we can focus on the milkers and get them out and about in the pasture as well. I think that would be good. Let's have a quick look at feed, because I know I haven't got much left. Hay's been dropping like mad. Well, we've got quite a bit actually. Should last us out over winter, hopefully anyway. Till we get that first cut in. Hey up now. Ah, this must be George's mate. Looks it. Look at that new Holland. 8970. She is a beast. Alright, let's go help him out. We need to open the back. Get these cows in. She'll fit them all in there. Fingers crossed anyway. <laughs> I hope so. Oh god, that took longer than expected, that did. But they should be all in there now. Let's just hop up here. Ah, there you can see them. They're happy. Right, mate, you're good to go. I'll just let George know before you go. Two seconds. Well, at least that's done. Sun's dropping now. It really is. <laughs> Look at his decorations. Christ almighty, he's gone all out. What's this? Happy Halloween. <laughs> I've got more pumpkins I've ever seen in my life. Where he's got them from. Maybe we should start growing pumpkins. Hey up, you right? I'm sound, how are you? Oh, not too bad, not too bad. What do you want, anyway? The guy's just come, your, your mate. Oh, well, it's not my mate, it's his son. I don't really know him. <laughs> All right, and well, he's come pick up them cows. I've just loaded them on for him. Ah, oh, no worries. Sound nice one for letting me know. No worries, George. Are you looking forward to see your uh, trick or treaters? Uh, not really. What do you mean, not really? You've spruced up the farm for them. No, I do that for me. I don't do that for them. I don't want anyone knocking on my house. You think I'm going to hand out free stuff? So I'll point you Halloween handed out free things. If anyone knocks on my door, I want to trick, I do. I get them doing treat. I, I'll be honest, I would have been surprised if you'd been handing out free sweets to everyone. Eh, uh, not for me that ain't. No, nope. I just do it because I like pumpkins. Are you being serious? You just like pumpkins? Well, it's a bit of fun and tick carving them. You know, I like the decorations. Fair play, fair play. I'm looking forward to seeing your Christmas tree then. Oh, ah, uh, yeah, that'll be good, that'll be good. Anyway, go see him off. Ah, will do, will do. George. He doesn't like trick-or-treaters, he just likes pumpkins. Never normal, never normal. Hey, look at that sunset. Glorious. I love it how he's just put a pumpkin there. Not a bad view, though. Seeing about the pumpkin. <laughs> right, let's go let him know. It's getting late now. Up past seven. Sun is really coming down. Hey up, we're all done. Yeah, I'm all done. Late now, isn't it? Sun's coming down. I'm probably gonna head back. Alright then. Hey, I haven't seen you much today. Everything been alright? Yeah, it's been sound. Normal jobs, really. I haven't been out in the fields. Put the bags away, ready for the seeding next month. Apart from that, just steady. All right, then. Hey, I never got to tell you my story. What story? Oh, well. Now you want to know. What about? Now I want to know. I didn't even know you wanted to tell me a story. Well, it's a good story to tell you now. You won't listen to this. All right, then. What's it about? About Calmsden Woods. What are you on about Calmsden Woods for? Where, where's Calmsden Woods? Not far from here. Written. <laughs> What's this story then, George? Oh, you never never heard the story about Cormston Woods? True story. I'm telling you now, true story. A written. Are you gonna tell me then or not? Written? Chill out. Let me get to it. I have to prepare myself for it first. Christ. <laughs> written. Right, well, this is back in the day. Like I said, true story. I'm telling you now, true story. Back in the day, before and what it was. We're talking years ago, hundreds of years ago. Hundreds. 
There's these three young lads. One was called Thomas, one was called Alfred. Thomas and Alfred just take cows out to the pasture. They stay and tend to them for a couple of months, because that's how it was back then. Don't ask me why, that's just how it was. One day, they got incredibly bored, and they decided to make a scarecrow fashioned from another farmer called Harold. A bit like Tony, they didn't like him. You know, proper like Tony Harold was. Anyway, they fashioned a scarecrow after him. Every day they take this scarecrow out to the field with them, talk with it, joke around, you know, like boys do. When they were feeling mean, they beat it up, throw cow muck at it and everything. Anyway, what they started noticing was that it started to grow and make noises. They'd place it at certain places and then the next day it'd be somewhere else. Nah, George, what are you on about? It's crazy. Hey, I'm telling you the truth. This is God's honest truth. This is Calmston Woods. Anyway, so one day, all three of them went missing. No one knew where they were, including Harold, and he went up there farming. All three of them went missing. Still, to this day, they never knew what happened to them. But what they did was they put three graves out in Calmston Woods for each of the young lads that went missing. And the story goes... But every Halloween, the Scarecrow is there, watching over the graves. What do you think of that, then? <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's not true. Uh, it's a true story. I told you, true story. Nah, George. Are you on about Alfred, Harold, and what was the other one? Thomas. Nah, nah, no chance, George. I don't believe you. You don't believe me? Right. Well, we can go up if you want. Are you kidding me, George? You won't go up to these woods and have a look. You don't believe me. I tell you, there's three graves, and they say it's a scarecrow and all. I haven't seen it before. I don't know anyone that has, I'll be honest. But they say it's a scarecrow every Halloween. It watches over these graves for these young lads. George, what are you on about, man? Are you actually being serious? What I'm telling you, aren't I? True story. What do you expect me to do? Just telling you a story. It's the right time of year for it. And you want to go up? Well, you don't believe me. I'll take you up and see it. You're joking. I don't know now. <laughs> I feel like I don't want to go. Well, I see you're scared, aren't you? Got you. Well, I'll tell you what. If you're not scared, I'm going to have to go. I'm not checking out now, am I? God, what time then? What time do you want to do this? Uh, I'm going to have supper first, but come back. Ten o'clock. Ten o'clock? I'll be up at five, get the cows out. <laughs> I know, but it's worth it, eh? Come on, we'll go up together. Ten o'clock, be back here. All right, then. Ten o'clock, I'll be back. Am I driving or you? I'm done questioning it. Yeah, it is. See you in a bit. Jesus Christ. Never heard anything like it. Three young lads, all farmers. Psst. I don't know what make of that, I'll be honest. He does tell a good story, though, I'll give him that. Let's shut this up, anyway. The least you want to do is faff about in here. A bit nervous now, though, I'm not going to lie. I don't want to tell George that, but I am a bit nervous. I just think he's up to something. We'll leave this on for cows. Best get ready, then, Hunter. <laughs> Head up to Carves and Woods with George. Who would have thought? Crazy. Didn't think I was going to be doing this when I woke up this morning. Alright, 10 o'clock it is. Pumpkin's out. Right, let's go do this. I don't know what the hell I've signed myself up for here, but we'll do it. Let's do it. <laughs> oh man. George. Let's see if we can swing this here. We should be able to. Right, well, off we go. Let's go pick George up and see what the hell is going on about. I bet we get there and it's nothing. Absolutely nothing. I guess there's only one way to find out, though. Let's call this bluff. Is that the moon out? I hope it's not a full moon. Jesus Christ, I don't know if George will turn into a werewolf. Yeah, it's behind that, isn't it? That's right there. Got a cloud in the way. I don't even know what make of this. I really don't. I'm 
sure we'll find out when we get there. Hey, is he, is he here? Look, he's waiting. Keen as hell. Hey up, George. You're keen, aren't you? Normally half beep get you get you ready for where we're going. Oh, Auntie Cherry, you don't believe me. I'm looking forward to this, I am. <laughs> Gonna be a right laugh. Right. Where am I going then, George? Oh, it's doing right out of here. Alright then. Jesus, George. What are we actually doing this for? Bit of fun, isn't it? Not being miserable. Christ. Who's the old one out of me and you? Yeah, that's true. That's true. So this is a true story then, yeah? Ah, oh, true story. Promise you. Will there be many other people up there with it being a story about Carmson? Nah. Not all these young folk know about these tales anymore, do they? You'll just sit watching rubbish. Right, well. I hope you know where you're going, George. Oh, I just go up here, turn left in the minute. You'll, you'll know your way. I think I did, used to do these routes when I was uh, working at Garden Centre, to be honest. It's been a while, though. Do the left here. All right, then. Two seconds. Dark, innit? What'd you expect? It's night time, you stupid. Yeah, I didn't. Oh, it don't matter, George. Right, carry on down this track. George, where are you taking me? <laughs> you're getting spooked, aren't you? Admit it, you're getting spooked. You're spooking me, you're being strange. Not normally like you, this isn't. You want to stay in with your slippers on by a log fire. Surprised you haven't got a smoking jacket. <laughs> no, one of them. What's the point in that? I don't even smoke anyway. What are you on about? I know that. I'm just saying. You talk some nonsense, don't you? Are we nearly there? Ah, oh, shut up. We're nearly there. Right, turn left here. Left? Oh. You went right then. Yeah, I know, I know. You told me a bit late though, didn't you? I mean, now I'm turning your beams on. It's dark, man. Are you happy now? Oh, that's better. Hey, oh, is he not taking his straw in yet? What an absolute plonker. <laughs> it's a shame, isn't it? We could have used that. Well, I aren't doing any bailing for him. I know that. I'm saying we could have had it. Anyway, don't matter. Where am I going now? Uh, carry on. I think he's up here, to be honest. Right, in a minute, you're on your right. There you go, you missed it. No, I'm turning now. Right, pull over here. Alright then. Shall I leave the lights on or not? Do what you want, mate. Why are you talking like that? Well, you know, you never know what's around, do you, this time of night? George, you're freaking me out, man. Chill out, man. What's wrong with you? You're freaking me out now, I'm telling you. you got to stop this. I, you know, I never thought you'd actually get me spooked, but you started to spook me. Well, true story, true story. You stop saying true story. You don't make it true if you say it 50 times, mate. It does, though, doesn't it? Because now you believe it. Anyway, come on, stop bottling it. Get out. God. Where are we going? Follow me. Jesus Christ, George, it's even foggy down here. Put your torch on. It is a bit foggy, though, isn't it? Oh. What's that noise? I don't know, what was it? See, I told you. Scarecrow. What it is, a scarecrow. George, if I get down here and there's absolutely nothing, I'm going to kill you. I am, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> you. <laughs> There's a light down there, you know. I know why, I wonder what that is. I don't know, but I don't want to find out. Come on. Right then. Right, walk across here, follow me. I know you can see what you're doing, it's a bit foggy. You know why, don't you? Ghosts around here, ghosts. Ghosts? You haven't got a clue what you're on about, have you? Where am I going? This way. Right, um, I heard something, George. 
You ought to do. Come on, let's get done so we can get out of here. I'm starting to get a bit spooked, me son. Alright then. Jesus Christ, George, I don't know where you've taken me. I saw a light over there then. Are you still here? I'm here. Don't worry. Carry on. Why am I leading the way now? I think it might be better if you lead, you lead the way. I need an head start. Hey, up, George, there's something here, mate. I told you. No way, George. There's actually three st graves here. See? I told you. There is a few more, though, behind it. And you thought I was lying. Jesus. That is a bit strange. Ah, told you. True story. True story. What was that, George? I don't know. I don't know. want to know. Right, now I'm getting a bit spooked. What the hell was that? I don't know. It's over here. Turn your torch off for? I haven't. It's died on me. You got yours? No, I only got mine. Do you want me to have a look or not? You can do, but hurry up. It's back on now. Alright, um. Nothing here, George, just more graves. Well, thank God for that, then. I'll start and get spooked myself, then. Jesus. Whew, I shouldn't wire myself up like this, should I? George. Run. We all about run! There's a scarecrow. There's another one. George, we're going to have to do one. Seriously, I'm done. That's it. That's me done. See you in a bit. Wait up, Christ. Don't run off like that. No, I'm, I'm done, George. That's me done, mate. That is. I'm off, mate. I don't know what. No, anymore now. Wait up. The bloody scarecrow, George. I told you. I bloody told you. Never believe me, do you? And I tell you these things. Uh, let's get back in the van, George. I'm done. I don't want to know anymore, mate. I'm going home. I'm just going to stick to me farming iron, mate. I'm telling you that now. Come on, get in the van. I'm here, I'm here. Go on, go. Jesus Christ, George. What the hell was all that crap? There was a bloody... What the hell was that? There was an actual scarecrow. There was two of them. There's one up on the tree. Did you see that one? Oh, I didn't see that one. I saw the one you torched up right behind you. Oh, God. Forget I said anything. We're only going back there again. I'll tell you that now. I know I'm not. Why does this thing go no faster? What do you expect? It's an old van. Well, it's not very good, is it? Times like this, you need to get out of these places. It's you that brought me here. I ain't listening to you again, George. I'm telling you that now. I'll tell you one thing. I want to be sleeping well tonight. No, your fault this is. What about my fault? It was your idea. I know, but I didn't expect to see a scarecrow. I was only messing about. Wait a minute. So, you want a true story? No, it's a story, right? I don't know if it's true, do I? I wasn't born back in them days. But everyone's always said about this story. Jesus Christ, George. You didn't put them there, did you? You know about me? Put scarecrows there? Are you crazy? Am I going to get a scarecrow up there? And also, do you think I'd buy two scarecrows? To be honest, George, to scare me, yeah. Uh, yeah, I would do that, actually. Good idea. Why don't I think of that myself? Anyway, listen. That's it, I'm done. I'm going I'm going home, mate. Oh, me too. Bit of fun, though, wasn't it? Uh, it was a bit of fun. See you in a bit, George. See you in a bit. Right, remind me never to listen to George's tales again. And that really has sent the shivers through me. Definitely. I'm going in, locking the door. <laughs> and I ain't turning the TV on. I'm not watching any horror films tonight, that's a fact. Right, that's me done. I think that's enough. Tales for one night.